Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for you for May to June 2023. For money, career, finances, we have real estate. Build a solid foundation prior to building several stories above it. Consider a career in real estate, interior design, architecture, or home business. It's time to go back to basics to strengthen your finances. So we have real estate. Could be to do with real estate as well. With that, we have control. Try to be a little more flexible and allow the universe to work its magic. Don't lose out on opportunities because it didn't come in the form you wanted it to. Sometimes blessing come in, blessings come in disguise. Stay open-minded to see the potential. Let's see what we have with that. I'm going to pull you a fortune card. Message for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you. Money, career, finances. May to June 2023. Thank you. Owl, number 23. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. And let's pull you a fortune cookie message for a lovely Sagittarius. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. We have planning. Now is the time to lay the, down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more likely. Financial gains are more than likely. I'll read it again. Planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. Let's see what we have. Sagittarius message for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Sagittarius. Money, career, finances only. May to June 2023. We have the Page of Swords. Six of Wands. Page of Wands, King of Cups, can be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female, or the energy of the card. We have the Star. We have the Eight of Wands. Knight of Swords, and we have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, Sagittarius, the energy is news, news, communication coming in. Uh, you know, the Page of Swords brings clarity, so there could be some communication or a message coming in that brings clarity and change the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change here you could be hearing back on something as well with the star because you're hoping for a success and achievement a victory this looks like in terms of jobs business opportunities and career uh, but it can also be um As part of that process here in terms of money, career, finances, it might well be for some of you that you might have to move or relocate in some way. You know, it could affect your home and property in some in some way, shape or form. We have the six of, of wands and the star having faith that a victory is going to be yours. The star is a great card of blessings and wish fulfillment. It comes after the tower in the major arcana. Towers can be significant change, even endings coming into our life that disrupts everything and it can be an event that happens change that happens in some way and we're talking about money career finances 
This feels like uh, there's every reason to be hopeful that victory will be yours. The Six of Wands is a card of an achievement, a win, a victory, a success. Feeling pretty good about it as well, but you don't know yet. That's why you just have faith. But this is a time coming in that I feel change would have happened here already. And this is that sense of renewal and optimism coming in, in this reading in May to June. And this is just lovely. It's all the excitement of the one's energy, you know. Uh, forward movement, fast forward movement, very, very fast. With the page of wands, good news can be to do with an opportunity here. This just feels very, very positive indeed. It just feels it's, 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 a, it's a massive green light energy of go, go, go. Let's go. It's all on. It's going. Like we're doing it, you know. This is the energy here. So I want to say with the King of Cups and the Knight of Swords, there is a conversation to be had. This can be um, some important conversation. Again, some kind of uh, exciting new beginning is opening up for you. There's a conversation with the King of Cups. Now, King of Cups can be close to our heart. So this can be in terms of relationship or a family member. This can be an energy here. For example, if you had to make changes, to get a new job in money, career, finances, there could be an important conversation going on. But in this position, this person is supporting you. Say, yeah, let's just go for it. Let's do it. Let's do what needs to be done. So that's what I'm seeing here. There may well be some kind of emotional conversation to be had with your other half, potentially, male or female in that respect. This is also a good energy. The King of Cups can also be a very good leader in business. You know, the kings can, the kings are the height of the suit of the whatever suit they govern. So the cups energy, very intuitive. Uh, somebody who's very caring and compassionate would put people first. This would be a very good leader in business because they put people front and center. So they care about people, you know, so you would instantly connect to this person if you are meeting a king of cups in business. Everybody likes working with the king of cups because they care about the people, you know, they like people to be happy. They're, they're very good at team bonding, you know, making sure the team works together well, making sure that their door is always open. So this is that kind of energy that you could also be having communication from a King of Cups. And it's, but either way, it looks like you're getting your wish, the Nine of Cups. There's a strong energy of it's all systems go, you're getting your wish. There is this conversation or communication being had but this is the energy here of, I strongly feel that what you hoped would happen here, Sagittarius, is coming to fruition. The Nine of Cups is you're getting exactly what you want, your wish coming true. A kind of energy here of, there are things that are going to be within your control in May to June and things that aren't. There are things that you just have to surrender and trust on with the star energy and even lean on your own spiritual faith, should you have spiritual faith. But this is the energy here of a strong, a strong, a strong message that everything's going to work out fine, but just to keep on moving forward in faith. And then it comes to fruition. You've got two wish fulfillment cards in your reading, which is very, very auspicious. So that's what I have for you. I'm going to pull an angel card. Really lovely reading. I feel that you've gone through some significant change coming into this point. And again, the real estate, again, could involve moving or relocating. This can also be, Sagittarius, if you want to pretend and protect and defend and are worried about your home, for example, as well. You know, that would be the energy here too. But there's just a strong energy of uh, getting exactly what you want as part of this process. And also the metaphor of real estate, building on a solid foundation before you build several stories above it. Yeah, this just feels like uh, potentially some of you could be getting in an entry level position or um, getting that sense of new stability and security that you can really build on for the long term. And that's what this change means to you. So again, that's how that metaphor will change, transfer in terms of business. Three cards have come out. 
Discernment. Follow your intuition. Miracles out of mistakes. Use your mistakes to inspire and empower you to face brighter days ahead. Nice energy. And we have hidden treasures. Bring your creative ideas and hidden talents to life. Present your gifts to the world. Well, there's a strong energy with the Six of Wands of getting recognized, noticed for who you are. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius as a final message? We have shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty, yeah. There's a strong energy here of, of showing what you're capable of. Yeah, This feeling here, Sagittarius as well, of even coming into these months, if you felt that you you were overshadowed in some way, it, there's a strong energy here of it's your time to shine in some way, you know? It's time to come into your own in some way. And I feel that this change has given you the opportunity to do that. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful next month or two and I will see you next time.